Hi everybody! In this lesson, we will learn how to create the for loop in order to repeat an instruction a number of times. As you learned in the Scratch program when you were at lower grades, the repeat function in any program language is a command that allows you to repeat instructions as long as the condition set is valid. Let us start with an example. Write for i equal 1 to 40. Text window dot write line parentheses i. End for. Run the program and see the result. The numbers from 1 to 40 are displayed on the screen. The variable i will hold the value 1 for the first run of the loop and will increase by 1 at each loop. If you wish to increase the value by 2, add to the for loop the step instruction as shown. Run the program and observe the result. The numbers displayed are 1, 3, 5, etc. till reaching the value 39. If you wish to display numbers decreasing, write the following program. Write for i equal 15 to minus 1, step minus 1. Text window dot write line parentheses i. End 4. Run the program and observe the result. Now the question, where the for instruction can be used other than displaying numbers? The answer is very simple. The for instruction is used whenever you need to repeat instructions to draw shapes with the turtle, to repeat a set of questions with the command text window dot write line and text window dot read, etc. In the following example, we will show you how to use the for command to draw a square. In the previous lesson, we saw that to draw a square, we were obliged to repeat four times the instructions turtle.move, parentheses 100, and turtle.turn, parentheses 90. With the command for, look how we set the condition and write the move and turn instructions one time. Write for i equal 1 to 4. Turtle dot move parentheses 100. Turtle dot turn parentheses 90. End 4. Now it is your turn to launch Small Basic and to try two programs using the for loop. 1. The first program will display the numbers from 7 to minus 30, step 3. 2. And the second program to draw the shape of an equilateral triangle. Thank you for watching this tutorial and do not forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram in order to access to additional educational resources.